<laughs> oh, hey, everybody. Are we live? Yeah, now we are. Sorry, I should have warned you. <laughs> I'm pushing my go live button. Uh -oh. <laughs> right, did you just take your shirt off? You did not. Yeah. Oh, oh, my gosh, Jeff. <laughs> I should have warned you. <laughs> I'm pushing my go live. Jeff, you have to explain that shirt. It's, uh, Mar if you watch Margaret's uh, jewelry channel, it's our two favorite words she always uses on her haul videos. Now, now I know a dongle is like the USB thing that we use in post-production for like different kind of licensings and everything, but what does dongle mean for jewelry? It doesn't mean a thing. He's like poking at me. You know how everybody has those words that drive them bananas? You know? Oh, sure, sure. And like, so the word dongle, I just, it like makes me insane. Like, who's like, I know, I can, like yeah. in a board meeting, I know what I'm going to do. Let's call this little dude out a dongle and well, drive Margaret crazy. The, the funny part about that is I, I work in a, like a professional environment and when, because we talk about dongles sometimes because it's relevant to, to our industry. And so everyone, even like the, the most serious person will crack a, a smile or something when they hear the word dongle. It's just hilarious. <laughs> That's how I feel. I just like, dongle? What the heck? <laughs> Yeah, so he made this moist dongles matter shirt because moist is another one of those words. That's like, oh, that's true. I get it now. Awesome, Jeff. Good, good idea. <laughs> I, I, I think people would buy that shirt. I did. Did you put it up? No, I haven't put it up. I mean, I will. You really should, because somebody's gonna just go nuts and want to wear that shirt. I think. Well, this <laughs> moist lives matter. I made that one too for another friend. That's disgusting. I just have to say. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Monday's Merch Talk. <laughs> we are here. Um, I guess Joe will pop in in a bit. He'll probably be here. And Yong was supposed to come in today, but I'm going to say because I'm going to say he was scared um, because of the presence of all of the people here. <laughs> he gave he gave y'all such a hard time for not making it to the Merch Minds podcast. So he gets it. He gets it back. <laughs> Um, so okay, yeah. So we've got. Let me say hey in the chat real quick, and then we'll we'll say hey. How's it going? Um, American yesteryear. Hello, first time catching it live. Yes. Hi, Turtle Trader and Doctor Doodle Doo. Al is there. Good afternoon. And hi, Angie. I'm in Texas too. And I hear it is hot in the UK right now. It's a cool, like eighty something degrees. Look out. <laughs> Um, yeah. Hey, Steve Buchanan and Mitch. I'm sure I'm missing some people in there. Jason and Tracy Abdul. Hello, hello. Sorry, more people are jumping in and it'll sound weird if I keep going. So, <laughs> hi, everybody. Okay, guys, how's your week been? It's been um, good. It started off, I mean, at the beginning of the month, it's been great. It has slowed down over the weekend, though, quite a bit for me. Yeah. In all online, I see, I see in the groups too. A lot of people are saying that. Yeah. How about you, Chris? How's it going? It's going well. Um, I've had a, actually a good week. I sold maybe about seven shirts. That might seem like a lot, but for someone like me who's uh, capped out at a hundred, and I have about eighty-three active listings, seven's pretty good for me. But I've learned that the more I list, the more sales I get. So just keep keep listing, everyone. Keep posting those designs every day. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I know people are like, there's no way, there's a correlation. But I notice a difference too, right? I, I absolutely agree. I mean, there might not be. Maybe we're just freaks and there's just <laughs> something about it. But no, seriously, like I've, if I don't post, I don't sell it. When I post, it starts to seem like even older designs start selling. So maybe there is something to it. Yeah. What do you say, Jeff? Jeff yeah, Jeff's like, no. <laughs> uh, I don't have my tinfoil hat. I just think it's... <laughs> It's what it is, what it is, life happens. Moist tinfoil hats matter. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to wear my tinfoil hat next week, Jeff, just That's for that. That's a good idea. We ought to <laughs> do I that. I would like to bring up one subject, which seems to be a hot topic, and your the podcast got me doing some research in this tear up thing that everyone expects to be teared up or they think they've made so many sales, so I'm getting teared up. And I actually did some research and read the FAQs for the very first time. No way. And um, tear up right there in the, uh, the FAQs is not automatic. One of the requirements is to sell 
as many shirts as your current tier. So if you're on 25 tier, you need to sell 25 shirts. But beyond that, it says right there, it is a manual process by the Amazon team, not the bots, it's team, and it's not just sales that matter. It also, they also look at the, con the quality of the content and t-shirts you've sold. So mm -hmm. when you think you're being teared up, it's there's a human over there thinking, now your shit, or sorry, your stuff sucks. We're not going to tear you. So, and I'm not, I'm just saying that, but don't think it's an automatic thing and happens on Mondays or whatever. It's yeah. Not automatic. I've seen it in the groups today. Like, yay, it's tear up day. Did everybody tear up? Like, what? I've never heard of this tear up day. No, I guess most tears happen, happen on Mondays. But, uh, I just wanted to put it out there. I posted in Merch Minds, and I posted the actual FAQ text. And for 500 tier and above, it's it's called Pro, and it's invite only. So it's even more subjective. Oh, crazy. I didn't even know that. Yeah, and, and here's the thing, too. My sister was on the 10 tier. She, she sold one shirt, and she tiered up to 25. Yeah, so the guys thought, hey, she's awesome and cute. We're going to tear her up. She's really <laughs> cute. She gets yeah. to move up. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, maybe it is the quality. Maybe it's Andrew in the chat says, this means that Margaret has better quality designs than Young, according to Amazon. Eat that, Young. Yeah. <laughs> that's, I'm qu that's a direct quote. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, Joe. You're, you're, is Joe like, here? Um, there he is. He's sideways man today. Are hey, we everyone, do this. I don't know. Am I still sideways? Yeah, no, no there you go. You're good. <laughs> Where are you today? I'm at uh, Pizza Hut. Okay. <laughs> awesome. That reminds me. Yeah. They got free Wi-Fi. Nice. They got free Wi-Fi here. Awesome. So how how we change it? Go on. Joe's Joe's week is going pretty good. <laughs> are we talk Joe's week has gone pretty good, huh? Yeah, pretty good. Let's hear it. <laughs> Uh, no, actually, the last two days have been really slow for me. So, yeah, it Total, was. Kind of... I think I can't. I think I have like eighty-five sales for the month. So, doing pretty good. That's not what I'm at. If you look at it, on the halfway point, the fifteenth, my sales equaled all of May. So, the beginning of the month has been great, but like like Joe and my sales have slowed down considerably this weekend. Yeah, mine, mine dropped off too. I mean, I was averaging, you know, between 10 and 15 a day. And then the last two days were like seven, eight. So it's dropped off a bit. Yeah. Did we talk? Have we talked since the payout came, you know, got got posted? Uh, oh, no. So. Do we want to share? Or do y'all want to not? Yeah, we can share. Okay. Uh, four hundred and nine. Mine was like four hundred ninety-one dollars. That's good. Is it, was it a huge, was it a huge jump from last year? Do you remember, like this time last year? Oh, I'm sure it was. I'm sure it wasn't even like twenty dollars last year. Yeah. I I, I've, I haven't looked, but I'll look, I'll try to look and see what it was last year. Oh, yeah, see if I see if I can see if I can do that. Was four twenty-two. Which is the highest non actually was higher than December because a lot of my December sales sold in the last two days and got paid out in January. So January was my highest month. That's awesome. And this and May was my highest besides January. Are you comfortable, Chris, or no? Oh, I'm gonna. You know what's funny is I have no idea. I'm gonna be the hippie of the group and be like, I don't care, man. I don't know. <laughs> no, seriously. Like, when, what's the date ranges? I'll look. Um, it's it posted to the earning like when you go to the um analyze button and then you click earnings, it'll okay. say like May whatever. So mine was fourteen seventy nine, one thousand four hundred seventy nine, which is the next highest one since my December was highest. But I'll. Mm -hmm. I'll do I? I need that. Yeah, I like. So when I looked this time last year in May, last year my payout was sixty-four dollars. So it's like, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, a year it just really 
Yeah, my last May was 200. So yeah. doubled, but still good. Okay, so my my May my May payout was 39.08. So I'm 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 getting there. I mean, it's it's you start from somewhere, right? Everyone starts from somewhere. Yeah, yeah. And you've been at it for just a few months, yeah. Since March, I would say, like heavily since March. Yeah. So I mean, that's how I started, like a little bit growing, growing, and like just imagine in a year, year and a half, like yeah. how much if you keep focusing, oh. how much it'll grow. That's your third month. My third yeah. month was uh, five dollars, but I okay. So that, that makes <laughs> my, yeah, that makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> I, I started September two thousand fifteen. I don't think I loaded anything until November, and then I sold my first shirt in December. Yeah, and my third month was twenty three dollars. All right. I, I was just, I just, I was looking at mine just now, and uh, I, I saw that I didn't get paid till June. So in May of last year, I made zero dollars. See, so awesome. Okay, <laughs> I'm cheerleader for everybody today. <laughs> <laughs> it's positive energy today on a Monday. I'll tell you what, I'm really pumped about this week just to get started working and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I gotta spend some time catching up on eBay. I have uh, as a. I have not listed anything. I have a question. All, all, all the other full time retailers, right? No, I'm a part time. I'm part time. I consider That's myself part time. Margaret and Jeff are full time, right? Full time. It's all I do now. The recent in decals. So and does 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 Monday or Saturday is that that different? Does that mean anything different to you, or is a Monday like it could be a Saturday? Yeah, I mean, my kids are all together. If that's what you mean. Monday's Monday's usually I the mean, biggest, matter, biggest yeah. shipping day. Like no, no, yeah, Monday's yeah. usually the biggest shipping day. Yeah, Mondays are a big shipping day. I ship on Saturdays most times. I didn't this weekend, but yeah, from Sunday and Saturday night, Mondays are a big shipping day, and that's it. I mean, days just blur together after that. You you know what I just noticed? I just noticed Jeff's shirt is like taped he like printed it out and taped it on <laughs> yeah, I actually make the shirt. oh my he's god gonna make it. he's he gonna make start he's gonna start a new trend just like everyone leaves those stickers on their baseball caps everyone's gonna start printing out shirts and just taping them <laughs> on black shirts <laughs> you obviously have the graphic you need to upload that yeah i i think i might upgrade i mean i have 280 more slots to go might as well you better check and make sure dongles not um, trademark term yeah, or moist. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so so bad. Let's see. I was looking. Um, have you guys been doing much with other print on demand sites? I'm just trying to go and I that's another thing I wanted to add. I discovered yesterday Teespring has tears because I spent a lot of yesterday sitting watching Doctor Who and catching up on uploading to Teespring. And I got to one, and it said, error, you have reached the creation tier for this whatever. I don't know. But basically, I loaded up the max I could, and I can't find anything on their website. So I emailed them, and I haven't heard a reply back to find out what the hell. So there are tiers on Teespring. But how, I mean, do you have a ton of stuff up there? I do have a ton. I, I don't know how many are per page, but I have 10 pages worth of t-shirts so if there's 10 shirts per page I have I have 100 shirts up there now oh. or 100 designs it counts my designs but I didn't make Dang, two that's a lot. Cool. well you figure I have 220 merch and I have more than that on my website so just trying to catch up and I'll probably do the same thing with Redbubble I need to catch up with Doctor Who anyway yeah <laughs> I'm behind too. I am. I'm not too I'm glad that Missy's back. Though, if so, you're past that point, I have. I'm really. No, I haven't got to that point yet. Missy's back, so I know she was coming back, and so is uh, the old master. Ah, oh, but is, Missy is the old master, isn't she? The master in Doctor Ten. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, he's yeah. coming. He's coming back with Missy. There's gonna be, but man, I don't know how they're gonna do it, but it's gonna be the final episode. Sorry, we're geeking out here for a second. But I thought yeah, the master, I, have, I have no idea what you guys are talking about. I thought the master was Missy, like he regenerated and right. Missy. He did, but somehow they're bringing the, the so actor back. Going on, man. 
I don't know. <laughs> I'm to to <laughs> because there's only two episodes left. Of course, I'm just eating some pizza. While I <laughs> hey, I'm just sitting here listening to these guys talk about. I think you're talking about Doctor Who, right? <laughs> Sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. Okay, okay. So, so the other day I did a Doctor Who cares. <laughs> Doctor Who cares. <gasps> oh, dang. <laughs> We're not talking to Joe for the. You're in timeout, Joe, for like. Yeah. <laughs> Until your yeah, next I'm regeneration. Eating, I'm pizza. Okay, good. You're in timeout. You can eat your pizza. Um, <laughs> um, okay, so the other day I did a video where. Um, we made a shirt in the video and everyone was helping, you know, come up with ideas and, and uh, giving me tips as I went along. And I talked about it on Merch Minds when I was talking to Glenn and Young about how I went ahead and just, instead of just uploading the final one that we decided was the best, um, because I have 40 uploads a day, I went ahead and uploaded all, I think there were six or seven maybe, um, versions and the one that we thought was best is not the one that has sold. Two of the mm -hmm. ones that people were like, no, I don't like that, uh, are ones that sold. So I, I said I would share today the ones that did sell. Let me get to my screen share. Wait, are we still laughing at it? <laughs> Let me see if I can pull it up. Uh, okay, here, I'm going to share the page on um, Amazon. So these are the all the different versions that we did. I don't know why some of them are showing up on more colors like this, but... Um, so it was like zero flocks given and I don't give a flying flock those shirts. So the ones that sold this one Don't give a flying flock and a lot of people were like no I don't like it with the light pink with the pink, and I, sort of pink. I, I actually like that a lot that design personally you like it. Yes, I do I, I noticed that black shirts sell the best for me also, so it's like a perfect combination. I think so that one sold, and then another one where we were going back and forth about should we have a lowercase a or an uppercase a, you know, and we decided it didn't look right. But I was like, well, let's just throw it up there because – so that one sold. <laughs> so I was like, all right. No all right. Pick that didn't sell. Do what? Hey, pick that didn't sell. Joe, you're still in timeout. I can't understand what you're saying. <laughs> Which one did they pick? Uh, which one did they pick as the best one that they were one? Okay, so the yes. one. Well, you're chopping up. I couldn't understand. Um, the one, one of the ones that was Sorry. the one, this one, zero flocks given, was one of the ones that were considered the better options. So I don't like that one. You didn't like that one. Okay. Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, I did the same thing. Do what? Yeah, I was doing kind of the same thing this weekend. It, um, I went back and grabbed older designs and changed them to black, or I just reloaded the design and did different colors than the last listing. And that's how I got so many so quickly. And and I found that in the FAQs, they encourage you to list the same design twice with different colors. Do they? That's a good, okay. that's a good tip, yeah. they they Because the question in the FAQ was, can I change the t-shirt blank after I've loaded my design and everything? And they said, no, you cannot, but I, mean, I don't think use the word encourage, but you can upload the design again and use different t-shirt blanks. Here, so. here, here's my thing as a, as a newbie. I hate when you pick five colors and then it like for the default color, it picks the worst color out right. of all five. Like I hate that. There's no way to change that, right? It's done by nope. popularity. So when it first goes up, it's going to pick a random one. But once it sells, it's going to show those color that sold the most. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. So hopefully you buy black ones real quickly. To get rid of that. Yeah, I've I just been loading all black ones lately, so I'm just like, forget it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've been doing that's all a good idea. black, slate, asphalt, uh, dark heather, and then doing another listing with the lighter colors. And if I have to change the graphic to black, you know, because we'll see what happens. Yeah, I've got some other ones that I've, I need to do that on. And I was for a while doing that, like, the same design up on two listings so I can get more shirt colors. But yeah, I was running out of ideas, so I just decided to go back. And right after I listened to you on the podcast, I got out of bed and did that. So it filled up my 10 slots for the first time. That's good. I don't know what you said for me to get out of bed. <laughs> I don't know either. I was on drugs, and that doesn't work. 
<laughs> well, I take Ambien at night, and and usually is that um, is that a sleeping aid? Yeah, one my doctor wants me to cut back on, but I tried the past few nights. It ain't gonna happen. I've been, I've been. Have you tried melatonin pills? I've tried the. I, I use those, and they I seem to be fine. Too. Yeah. See, I don't like like Tylenol PM and anything harsh like that. It really just makes me feel groggy the next day. Yeah. Do you want? Hey, Chris, did you want to talk about the um, Adobe Capture app? I know we've talked about it on past episodes, but we can talk yeah, about it again. Yeah. So, like, there, I saw a post on Facebook, and I'm so sorry, I don't remember who posted it because I like to give credit to that to those people that give ideas. Joe was saying he talked about it in a in an earlier episode also and i guess it's called adobe creative you can make uh really cool patterns and like kind of like half tone stuff and people have been using them for their shirts but i'm not an expert i just started so if you guys want to talk about it i i, I know i don't know that much about it i was gonna grab what i showed out i played with it right after you talked about it and i was like yeah I, i've seen it i just haven't played with it in a bit so you should show it. you should show joe's shirt also the one with the ship if joe doesn't mind that that was a cool cool example too yeah, go for can i show it joe <coughs> i think that was a yes go for it okay okay so basically here's uh here we go is it screen sharing no here we go so <laughs> what did they say I heard I'm an alcoholic. I heard I'm an open book. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> okay. No, only so, Jeff would think of that. Um, so w w after you mentioned it, I was like, okay, I'm going to play with it. And my kid had some, some, you know, sea animals on the, on the table. So I was like, I'm just going to take a picture of this and play with it. And so yeah, this real, is what. I'm sorry, real quick for everyone. This is what the icon looks like. It looks like this eye right here. Sorry. Hang on, let me present you. Show it again. Oh, I'm sorry. Jeez, I just ruined that whole thing. No. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, hold on a second. This is this is the uh, – I man, live shows, guys. How you doing? Good. Anyways, this is the app icon, what it looks like. It's kind of like this eye thing right here. Yeah. It's like Saruman. <laughs> sorry, Margaret. No, no, not at all. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so that this is what it um, changed into. So my uh, octopus toy, into this, which I can knock the background out and you know maybe apply filters to it or whatever. So pretty cool, right? And then Joe made that. <laughs> whatever. Oh look, <laughs> there's my Facebook. Hang on, let me find our feed so I can. Uh, I know we're we're a mess today. We're like, oh, every everything's so good today, and it's just like, oh, falling apart now. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. <laughs> so here's Joe's shirt that he made on the app. Like that. That's my top selling shirt. Is it really? I'm gonna go look at your rank. That, yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, it's sold. That's good. <laughs> what? <laughs> so it's my top shirt. That's your top seller. Awesome. I think I sold uh, like seven or eight of those. So. I'm going to make a motorboat. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Don't be copying my designs, man. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of motorboat are you going to make, Jeff? Uh-oh. <laughs> I'll just take the I same boat, ask. cut off the sails, and put oars on it. <laughs> Never mind. And I was caught. Chose shipwreck. <laughs> There are little kids watching. You better be careful. Somebody in the chat <laughs> yeah. certainly got the joke. I, yeah, this is a family program here, people. <laughs> that was the joke, right? <laughs> Motorboating. Oh, my gosh. Oh, okay. Damn. <laughs> I'm sorry. My mind's not in the gutter today. So bad. I can't help it. I just can't. Okay, so. But that Adobe Capture is so easy to use. I love it. Yeah, and I and I wanted to, I wanted to kind of share that with some of the newer people that are newer members here on the channel and everything because I just discovered it too this week and I had no idea. So it's a really good app to use. It's free for to my knowledge, and I'm sure there's pay stuff on there, but it's really cool. And you can save you can, it. And, yeah. Go on, Joe. Like even draw things on paper and then you know capture that. Oh yeah, it. that's a good that's a so, great idea. And I'm not sure with that one because I haven't looked into it. But usually, if you're an Adobe CC member, there are apps you get 
added benefits to the apps, like being able to save larger files or something. I don't know what it is with that app, but you might want to check it out. And then it gave me the option whenever I was I was playing with it with another picture of me, but you can save it out in Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator. You can choose how to save it. I think you can even um, save it straight to your cloud if you're a. There's you know, there's there's some way where there's some way where you can just go to like you send it somewhere, and then you go to Illustrator, and then you just open it up in Illustrator, and it's right there. Yeah, if you're a CC yeah. member, they give you uh, it's really uh, so many gigabytes of cloud space. And it's integrated with all their apps, desktop, mm -hmm. and uh, yep. mobile. Yeah. So Margaret's going to have to go get Illustrator CC. Maybe. Or yeah. not. I'll just take it and drop it into PicMonkey, and everything will be happy. And <laughs> well, you take some grief from the other boys on the oh. uh, Illustrator. Yeah, yeah, always. But I just tell him, no, here's where you stick it, and I'm all good. Yeah, yeah, just show him your numbers, Margaret, and be like, I'm doing just fine the way I'm doing it. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> you know? I don't think you can open it and pick monkey. Yeah, I can. Well, I mean, I saved it to my phone, and then I'll forward it to myself, like email it to myself. Yeah. And then I'll just drop it in a pick monkey as a JPEG or whatever it saved out as. I'll see. I'll make it happen. Get happen and let us know. I will. Watch me. <laughs> I know we've got some questions, but Chris, you had something you wanted to share. Do you want me to pull the picture up? Yeah, we'll talk about this real quick. I thought this was cool. I found this, uh, I saw this on Facebook, and it was awesome because it kind of shows, it was like a Father's Day kind of shirt, a combination shirt, but it just shows you the level of uh, creativity. Ah, I closed it. Sorry. <laughs> no, no problem. It shows you the level of creativity that, you know, you can create two different shirts, but kind of have one um, impact. So I just thought like, so like the father's wearing the copy and the little babies were um, wearing the paste. So, and most of you who know who this is, we didn't have permission. So we just put little happy faces on yeah. them and I'm, we apologize for that. So here, I'll share um, another yeah. one. Yeah, this was and right after you said you were shared that I went and was looking at my feed and a friend of mine had just posted a picture of her husband and her son that were wearing these shirts. Yeah, I love it. See, and, and, and the main thing I wanted to, to, to kind of hammer home is that you have you can think outside the box with merch. Um, you can really kind of the, the sky's the limit as far as what you can create. And these are perfect examples of things that could be done around Father's Day, that could be just done around geeky computer stuff, and all that kind of thing. So that's what I really wanted to share about this. So here's my question. How would you? Oh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, my question oh, is: Is there a way? In the, the same question. Yeah, in the description to say, say I made a whole new brand name with just those shirts, you know, father and child or father and son shirts. You know, is there a way, or is it against terms of service in the description to say? Check out the companion shirt for your son by clicking the brand name above. You know, or is that against terms of service? I think it's against terms of service. See, yeah, that would be the hard part about that. See, I didn't even think all. I didn't even think that all the way through. Like, so how are they going to see the? What you can do is, I mean, it's a little bit money up front for you. Is buy a few, bundle them, and sell them as a bundle on Amazon FBA, or on your own website. Make an up. eBay listing. And then they can pick the sizes, you know, on your eBay list or Etsy listing. Yeah. I thought your question was going to be, how do we get a toddler size shirt? Because they only offer youth small, I think, is a is the smallest. I think they go down to a four, right? A four T or something like that. I okay. think the best way is probably like you just said, do it on Etsy or eBay where you can make one listing and they can comment you to the sizes they need. And then you just use your pot of choice. Yeah, yeah. just kind of like a drop shipping situation. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, the way I would see the group them together would be to create a brand name that would make sure that they were together if somebody searched that. Well, here's yeah. another thing, too, is uh, it says, I think it says LL says Amazon helps make that possible, and that put a thought in my brain. If you have a barcode, you can probably create your own unique listing for that on Amazon, too, and then just drop ship the both of them that way true true yeah okay. that's, what, that's what i was saying free journal mm -hmm. listings etsy amazon ebay and then drop ship because um printful goes down to onesies 
or I'm sorry, infant body suits. And you can, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, which I just want to say, I sold a t shirt on eBay and drop shipped it. Did you have a good <laughs> last night? In fact, we were talking last night in the chat. How right? did they go? Uh, we were talking about something, and then, yeah, I sold one on eBay and copy pasted the shipping info into my pod and was done. How you did oh, I'm sorry, Margaret, go ahead. No, no, you go on, you go on. I was going to ask, so did they get it and they re they left feedback and everything was fine? Oh, I haven't, they haven't got it yet. Oh, okay. Just, I thought just it was sold last night, but I've, I've done that before. I've sold two shirts before the same way. And yeah, I put it in my listing, uh, five day handling time. And then I put in the description, this is a print on demand and can take up to five days before shipping. And Printful usually gets it out within two to three days. So okay. I have not had a hassle with them yet. That was my question. What'd you put for handling time? Yeah. And then as soon as I get the uh, shipped information from Printful, I copy the tracking information over and mark it as shipped in the eBay. But you could technically do that from Amazon as well. You could. Um, I'd be careful with Amazon. Oh, yeah. Amazon's just more of a different animal, more of a pain in the butt. Stricter. Cool. But yeah, you could. All right, so we have some questions in the chat, unless you all have something else before we move forward. How's the pizza, Joe? It was it was wonderful. Awesome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, okay, so silent wait, silent chaosification. Can you use celebrity names on your shirt, even if it's a simple team name, Jordan, but then can use a basketball basketball as a keyword with it? I don't think I'd go near that. Nope. No. And somebody had somebody had sent me a message about asking, you know, can I use football player names on shirts? And I said, I don't nope. think that's a good idea. Nope. Even on a fa fan print. On fan you print, can only yeah, you, use, can. you can only use the names that they have a license for, and it's usually retired players or uh, college players. A lot of the active players don't have licenses yet on fan print. Not all because I, I know, like, the Maybe Penguins won the uh, hockey championship, and they put out information to the fan pink group. You can do all these names, but there's a couple names here you can only use in a team shirt that lists everyone's name. You can't do an individual shirt with them. Margaret froze. She did. She was drink. She was mid drink too. <laughs> Yeah, it, here's the thing. Like, if if you have to think about it, it's usually a, a good indication for you guys. If if you think like, oh, maybe I shouldn't do this, that's a good indication that probably you shouldn't do it. Uh, stuff like that's definitely a gray exactly. area. Yeah, that's what yeah, I tell people. If, if they if they uh, if they think it's it, can I do this or can I do that, I just say no. But okay, Mark. Yeah, exactly. So Margaret's officially dead. So I guess Jeff or Joe, you're gonna take this one over. She's back. Well, she's All here. Right, we're taking over. She's here twice as much. <laughs> okay, my friend. Yay. <laughs> if your shirt can be confused with any brand or name that exists out there, then that's that's the basically the the uh, lit litmus test. Oh, I'm trying to figure a word. If it can be confused, and if your shirt wouldn't sell without using confusing with that brand or name then yeah, you can't do it. Yeah. I lost some of the chat questions. I, I had a shirt I had a shirt in um and it said it had like five words on the shirt, but then um just these two words in the middle, Etsy took that shirt down because they said a copyright a trademark holder said, you know, hey that's against our we have those two or two words trademark so cool. Or that design got pulled. So. You got to be real careful because Joe. I mean, Jeff got his uh, whole Etsy account pulled for that for that kind of thing. Ooh, wow. Yeah. Thanks I know for that. Rubbing some salt in it. Do what? Thanks for rubbing the salt. I'm just saying, be careful. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to rub any salt. Mm -hmm. Okay, I missed. I know there was a question from For Real Girl that was up yep. next, and I can't remember now what it was. 
just come up with original ideas. That's the best thing. Okay, here we go. Is anyone gearing up for fourth quarter, or is it too early? Maybe it's just me. So fourth quarter thoughts? That's why I'm spending a lot of time loading shirts now because I'm slow with eBay sales, so I only have to do an hour or two of shipping. So, yeah, and it's dead time. I'm going to load in as many shirts as I can because when Q4 comes around, I'll be doing a lot of shipping with eBay. I won't be able to, and they'll all sell, I hope. And I've sold Christmas shirts already this month. Oh, yeah? yeah. I was gonna, I've had a couple Christmas shirts from last year that were removed because of the 60-day. Mm -hmm. And I was going to wait until September, so I was within the 90 days. No, I can't. Maybe I'll load a couple. Yeah, yeah, why not? I mean, if you got spots open, go for it. Yeah. Uh, Camilla Noblet asks, uh, what size and where should you put your designs on a shirt? So I guess this is kind of like a designer question about where are the popular places for placement of design? What do y'all say? Right here. <laughs> Keep mine at the top. I always try to make it about two inches below the neckline, an yeah, inch or two below the neckline, yeah. and centered. But what a lot of people, I see a lot of people doing, which uh, it's like moist to me, is they <laughs> fill the whole space with these large fonts <laughs> and graphics. You don't have to use the whole space. I, I mean, think... Probably I think not. I think Jeff is onto something. You're gonna make a new shirt brand where it's just Velcro, and you can just swap out your designs like by the hour. There you go. Did you guys? Yeah. Okay, do you remember the movie Johnny Dangerously? Do you remember that movie? No. No. Oh my gosh! And they had a car, and it was covered with like wallpaper or something. And they were in their getaway car, and they're like peeling off the layers, so the cops are radioing it in, and it's like it's a car covered with duckies, and they're out there peeling it off, and. No, it's covered. No, nobody. Okay, darn no. it. <laughs> you know, it, and I work on movies for a living, and I've never heard of that movie, so that's sad. Oh, it's hilarious. I think it's Michael Keaton, and um, yeah, it's so funny. Well, yeah, 90s. yeah, I think it's before the 90s. I don't know. It's really funny. No, yeah, I think it's before the 90s for sure. 80s. Okay, I don't know what the next question is because okay, my, yeah. my, my thing yeah, Crash. Yeah, I got it. So the, she, they were asking when you when you guys first started in March, I guess they were talking about our May numbers, were all your spots filled? Um, yes. I, yes. Yeah. Here, 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 let's go back to May of last year real quick. Right. May of last year real quick. I could I could put I would put up 25 shirts. And then if they didn't sell in a week, I would change them all 25 out and put a whole fresh 25 out. And I did that so much, like crazy. Because uh -huh, there yeah. was no limit. There was no limit at all to what you could do. I was on the other end of the spectrum. I was too focused on eBay. I have never filled out my slots. I've never used my daily slots. I've never filled out my max slots. I mean, for the whole year of 2016, pretty much, I only had about 25 shirts up. And then in December, I started... Margaret got on my ass, and so I started <laughs> loading more shirts. So, so that's actually a good tip for 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 new merch uh, members. Here is what Joe was saying about recycling your designs, because I didn't even know that I was at twenty five for the longest time, and I didn't realize you were able you were able to actually pull down your older designs that aren't doing well and re-upload new designs. So that's a great tip, Joe. Yeah, absolutely. What was it? Were we talking what? about Friday or Saturday? That was the first day I've ever maxed out my slots. How did that feel? I don't know. I had to get out of bed, and I was on the ambient, so I probably don't remember how I felt. <laughs> I felt tired. <laughs> Is this real life? When, when, I, when, when, I, when I finally reached a 100 tier, I think like three or 100 tier. But by the time I did, I looked at how many designs I've made in those four months, and I made over like 600 designs. That's awesome. But then you just save them back, right? Because then whenever you've got all that, whenever you get up to the next tier, and you can do like 40 a day. Yeah, but I'm just saying that means it that's how many. Yeah, when I was at the 25, so that means when I was at the 25 tier, I switched them out so many times. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, you had a lot. 
Okay. Uh, Margaret, real quick, I want to answer this question that Elise, or I think it's Elise, uh, El Elzia. Sorry, I probably butchered your name. She's asking about when she uploads her shirts, she's seeing that they're going to another seller store. I don't think she realizes that merch and Amazon are two different things from your seller account, two different accounts. So that's pretty much why you're seeing it go to another another store or I guess uh, seller title. It's two different uh, things. Her listing, because I talked to her last night, her listing up where it says the brand mm -hmm. actually is showing someone else's brand. Even though when she's been in edit mode, it's correct. So that's something Amazon's going to have to fix for her. Whoa, that's a, yeah, that's crazy. No, this, because look, I'm going to screen share, because here's one of my shirts, and it's doing the same thing. Because I noticed this, I noticed it the other day, because like this, I would never do this, like make hiking t-shirts, one word, as a brand. Like, like Are you not. sure that's not another seller still in your design? No, I clicked on it from my, my um, dashboard. So I went to my dashboard, clicked on my shirt to pull it up, and then it came up with this. I'm like, these are not, this is not mine. This is not what I, you know what I mean? Right. So I, I, I've noticed that happen on a few shirts, and I'm not exactly no, sure. No wonder why, why you're, you're selling a lot of shirts, Margaret. That's actually a really cool design. Oh, that one hasn't sold, darn it. Yeah, but still, <laughs> but still what I'm saying is you're, I'm sure all your shirts are kind of uh, designed around like that kind of stuff. And so, yeah, the, for me, I'm just a basic font letter guy so far. You know, that's a majority of my stuff. So, yeah, definitely awesome stuff. Thanks. Well, that's one that we did in a live. That's why I'm sharing it. I, I mean, I share most of my stuff. I don't care. But that's one we did in one of the live, like, let's make a short video, you know. Anyway. So, yeah, I've noticed that, too. Sometimes it, for whatever reason, they decide it needs to go under a different brand name. That's annoying. Yes, okay. I I'm looking in the chat for more questions because I don't have them <laughs> saved onto the side. Well, there was somebody I saw had a question for me. I don't remember who it was, but was asking about printful prices mm -hmm. and margins. Their, their prices are not that bad. I mean, if you look at Amazon, is around $12 a shirt cost. Um, some of the other pods are about the same. Uh, Printful's lowest t-shirt is thirteen fifty, and it just depends on what price you set. I, I set mine for five to seven dollars profit per shirt, so and I'm happy with that. Yeah, that's generally what I set mine. Seventeen. I, I think I have a couple at sixteen ninety nine. My Kofefe, I put at sixteen ninety nine or fifteen ninety nine even maybe. <laughs> yeah, I'm going back once some of those older ones sell. I I'm up in every start What'd you say? Joe? And then 1599 and then I'll raise them up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If there are no more questions in the chat, I have some that were were from like the Facebook groups and stuff. Um okay. so one of them was about the holiday shirts. Are you guys, you know, putting up any holiday shirts right now? We kind of talked about that, didn't we? I have a few Fourth of July. I have put some pro. I haven't yet. Um, National Lipstick Day is coming up, so um, <laughs> there's all those fun like holidays that yeah. that is random. Twentieth is National Lipstick Day. Donut Day. Yeah. Anyway, whatever. Um, so okay, and then in the groups, Joe, someone was asking about the app that you use to upload shirts from the phone. I know you. Yes. there's the over app, but then there's something else you do to upload it from your phone, right? Oh, I use the Puffin app. Puffin, P-U-F-F-I-N. And that's like another, um, what's it called? Operating browser. system? Browser. It's a browser. Yeah, browser. Is it free to download? Free to download. Okay, cool. Because, gosh, you know when you're out with the kids or something, or at a swim meet, you could get shirts going on there. UFO Day, National Emoji Day. Hey. <laughs> well, uh, no, well, you know what's upcoming is uh, Shark Week. Yeah. Make some shark shirts. Yeah, I so heard maybe, that does well for everyone every year. Yeah, I mean, did you shark guys sell Week. a lot of Father's Day shirts? No. Well, two. I was bad. I didn't create any Father's Day shirts. I'm bad at this game. Plus the one I bought. <laughs> I don't think I sold any, unless people were buying shirts for their dad that wasn't necessarily 
Father's Day. You know what I mean? I think that was happening. Yeah. That's why the increased sales. And then Joe, in the if you guys are not in Joe's Facebook group, uh, Merch University, he often posts ideas from T-Grass, right? Yeah, T-Grass. You want to tell? Do you I used tell to. Um, they send me a like a weekly top ten of what niches sell. I've sold that month, and it takes it's it's grabbing it, all that data from about like a t-shirt website. So that's what that's what it's coming from so yeah and it's a really great but i mean if you have the if you have the money to spend i would get tea grass i would get it i, I would get it again but i just don't it's cost a lot of money how much is it it's like mm -hmm. one of the tiers is like 47 dollars a month too much what is it i mean is it a, a print on demand wow. site no or no no it's it? a um it's like a, a t-shirt analyst all the top selling t-shirts and designs and how many sales they're getting it tells you all kinds of stuff it's really good cool it it tells, a if, you, if you tear up if you tear up to the highest level it'll tell you how many facebook shares these shirts or some out of an um, analyst on their peers to joe's pizza wi-fi is definitely not working out too well <laughs> <laughs> a bit choppy yeah um okay cool but if you're not in the group joe frequently shares uh in the group good um trending ideas and things that are doing well so and then helen asks in the chat do you make up random brands for a group of shirts i do i do i do i usually use like the keywords like so like my, the company name would like if I was doing fishing shirts, I put fishing as the brand name, and usually that does that works for me. Yeah, I try to find another keyword, you know, like my hiking shirts. I'm, you know, if it's a geocaching shirt or whatever, I'll try to get another keyword in there, you know, hiker, like hiking lover shirts or something like that. That's yeah. how I look at it. I know Jeff. Jeff doesn't like that. He's trying to build a brand, and there's there's. There's two. There's lots of different thoughts on how you should do that for sure. I'm a rebel. I do what I want. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I've and done a couple shirts. I did a different brand name, and they haven't sold. Joe, Joe, what do you do for the for the brand names? Um, I usually the brand names is whatever niche that I'm in, and I'll just make a brand name up. Yeah. So, user. So that's what I've been doing. And Eliza's asking if we've tried doing giveaways to make people go to your Amazon link. Um, yeah, the, uh, you actually can do it through Amazon, create a giveaway through Amazon. And we've most of us have done that. Chris, have you done a giveaway? No, I haven't done a giveaway yet. I haven't even looked into that. No, I'm still I'm still like the rookie newbie guy. Death Pauls wants to know if you sign your shirts within the design. No, but if you buy one of my shirts, I'll sign it for you. <laughs> Next time I see you. I think that would be more like a Jeff thing if he designs his own, pretty much if he had his own brand. You know how like Stussy does it or like uh, some other artist might sign their name? Like a Gary V shirt has like a signature on it or something like that. I think that's what they're talking about. And then they yeah. steal my signature and write my checks. I don't think so. See, here's the tip. Here's a tip for everyone. I sign my checks with a different signature. Pro tip. Yeah. I don't have a check. You don't have a check. <laughs> I bought a thousand business checks. Uh, just because I, I put my name in it. You did, Joe? I made a shirt one time, and then if you look really closely, you can see my name that's written in in, in one of the texts, one of the letters. I love that name Death Piles in the chat. That's like a great name. I always wanted to I always thought that would be a great like uh, punk rock band name or a rock band name, Death Pile. <laughs> Reseller punk rock <laughs> band. <laughs> Death Piles. <laughs> we could do it, y'all. <laughs> I'll play the kazoo. Okay, I'll play the ukulele. <laughs> um, all right, so did did you guys get anything pulled with the cleanup that they did when they were some people got warnings, right? That you know, some of your shirts are not following terms of service. No. 
I have no I idea what you're talking cool. about. Could you ex could you explain that, Margaret? I have no idea what you're talking about. So they sent out a, a notification a while back about, you know, really cleaning up people that are copycats or doing things that aren't following terms of service. And um, some people got email notifications saying, you know, you need to take these down. Basically, it's like they, they, gave, they gave a, a date or a certain number of days, like by this date, you have to have it done or we're going to be, you know, sweeping through and you might get in trouble or banned or whatever they I don't have it pulled up so I can't read it verbatim no no so, that makes that makes total sense yeah I didn't get anything like that luckily so yeah yeah me too um I'm trying to sell a single feminine color from the woman in the chat what's color which color is more popular pink or yellow pink, pink. <laughs> yeah I think because some people I, I can't wear yellow or I guess I could wear I don't look good in yellow so yeah, yellow is a very weird color. I think only bees like yellow. <laughs> I look good in yellow. <laughs> Do you look good in leather, though? That's what I look good about. in everything. <laughs> Pajama pants, Jeff is rocking. Yeah. <laughs> There's a song called I Look Good in Leather. It's really funny. Anyway, um, any, I'm just getting off topic majorly today. I don't know what's going on. Um, Helen's saying it's crazy how many words are trademarked. This is true, and I ha I've gotten questions about that too. Like, if I am trade, if I am writing like my description, and then I have checked this phrase, and the phrase is okay for for me to use, but one word in the phrase is trademarked, can I still use it? You, you gotta look. At, you gotta look at the trademark and look at. You can't just say it's trademark. I can't use it. And this is my opinion. I'm not a lawyer, but you have to look at the trademark. What is it trademarked for? Because um, there was a big discussion about I am being trademarked, but it was basically trademarked as a brand for black IPs to whatever. I don't listen to that. But so you got to look at the, con the context and then look at your T-shirt. Is your T-shirt going to confuse anybody from that brand? Yeah. You know, if you're using I am in a sentence there, no one's going to think of a black eyed P dude. You're okay. That's mm. Will I am. Yeah. If it, I mean, if somebody looks at your t-shirt and thinks right away, oh, that's black eyed peas. Then yes, you can't use it and you're going to get in trouble, but yeah. it has nothing to do with them. And there's no confusion there. Legally, right. you're okay. Now what merch does, that's enough for universe. Yeah, for sure. And I did start my series where I'm making shorter chunks, and I got two of the videos up, and one of them is about trademark. So I did talk a little bit about that, like, well, if it's a cos, you know, it's trademark for cosmetics, as long as my shirt doesn't, you know, have to do with cosmetics and Big Mama's cosmetics or something. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'm like, that's a great name. <laughs> dig, dig into the trademark. Look and see who actually is trademark. Go to their website and see what the, how they're using it, and then and then use a judgment call, I guess. Yeah, th th I, think, I think Margaret, that's going to be a great video series because when I started, I used to try to I, I put like a legit description, and my shirts would always get rejected. So I just said, forget it. I'm not even going to put anything in the description anymore. And that's kind of how I've done it. And I know that's not a good way to to kind of sell shirts, but for me, it, it just it, they always flag something when in the description. Yeah, yeah, you just got to be more careful. I guess Joe. I don't know if he's going to try to get back in. I haven't seen. Yeah, Joe dropped. I think that pizza Wi-Fi is definitely something that needs to be uh, worked on. Okay. And do you guys do you guys see any more um, uh, questions in the chat? No, and we're coming up on the hour too. So yeah, yeah. But I want to go longer. What if you want to go longer? I can't. I have to get my children. I think I'm locked. We do it yeah. for the children. Yeah, actually, I just I, re I just realized I really do have to go get my children. So I gotta call it right now. <laughs> okay, guys. I'll talk right, to you later. Thanks, on. everybody, for walking and watching in the chat. We'll see Thanks, you later. Thanks, guys. Click the thumbs up button. Thumbs up. <laughs>